Well, hello everyone. Uh, what I'm selling is a combination of a uh, motor, a very, very powerful um, gear head, uh, the steel chain or timing belt, steel timing belt. Actually, it's got a link right here if you want to make it shorter. Um, the motor is a really good motor. It's a Hawker. Um, it's 90 volts DC. One, one thirty horsepower. 0.42 amps and the radio is 149 by 1 okay 149 inside by 1 I believe of the of the one that I seen outside I'm sorry if I'm not focusing correctly 90 volt DC the model is a V019108 L83 well I removed this from uh, from a machine to supposed to develop um, some kind of a printer stuff. I mean, but this is the what I think this is the more valuable about that. Uh, this is not included. <laughs> what I use this for is just to keep in place the speed controller let me show you a little bit closer this is the speed controller every wire is going from 1 to 6 in order to left to the right the reason I put in here is you know the switch the fuse the protecting fuse is right here The pulley and the and the little the smaller pulley for the belt. So let me show you what is this gonna look like. I hope you're able to see the whole enchilada. It's gonna be like this. The potentiometer for the speed and the nub with the dialing from zero up to ten. I don't want to use this one because this one need to need quite a few pressure to insert in. It's not holding with a screw, it's by the pressure. So when you're mounting in your in a cabinet or whatever you decide to mount, and then is when you're gonna put this one straight all the way down, putting in the zero and with a piece of cloth very straight just push him in so I want to use my finger to you know to demonstrating this let's start first without without the chain I want to get closer the motor and I want to turn on it's turning I mean extremely slow right there but I mean it's extremely high torque I mean I I don't know it's extremely high torque in fact let me tell you something if I turn the wrist off actually I'm not able to to, to move or rotate the, the inside the inside gears so when they when that happened means that the motor and the, the motor combination with the gear head is pretty pretty decent torque or power or whatever okay this is the lowest speed the lowest speed what could I tell you maybe two seconds per feet perhaps I just try to count just average you know so I want to start increase the power I mean the speed I started going and 
increase more more that's the highest speed we're talking about uh, let me tell you maybe two to three seconds per turn that's a really good piece I mean the motors made in USA this is was from a kind of old equipment but uh, this motor will be hiding under the the system and looks you see the condition is in like new condition okay let me drop the speed so what I gonna do I gonna put I gonna move it it's very important be careful with because it's a bear uh, all the components are are solder and in the back and uh, is the uh, you know you have to be careful by, by the way I went included the uh, the cover to supposed to go, to go back there okay okay so let's first of all let me turn it on off and try to measure the diameter I'm gonna go through the thits okay uh, this one has a one inch one inch three eighths over the thits and the large one and the small one is one inch one eighth the change length I actually I wanna actually I wanna put it in the motor and destroy it a little bit and take a measure right there let me get my measure my tape measure and we have like 8 inches between centers okay and it's not completely I mean completely straight I mean completely with all the but let's say 8 inches the overall will be about 9 inch and a quarter but it's about 8 inches between the centers of the two gears what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little um, a small um, screwdriver and I wanna start again you know this is the lowest speed let me start increasing the speed you have a let me go right away up to the highest of course this has to be very very oops of course this has to be very very aligned you know I mean you have to align properly let me stand up to the side to try to align correctly that's what you're able to see that's the highest speed I don't buy myself everything, I'm sorry. I have no helper. So it's a beauty, I mean, it's pretty good. And what I said, this is the last part. Let me turn it off. Well, let me demonstrate again the lowest. I'm gonna get closer. The lowest is amazing, I mean, it's. 
you be, you be, you hardly see turning and very quiet the highest it's about let's see one two two like two and a half uh, seconds per revolution is the way I try to measure uh, okay so the motor is pretty heavy, pretty nice, it's very nice and and you see the dimensions, I want to tell you now, the dimension of the gear head is a 3 inches and a quarter by 2 inches 7 eighths, the motor is about, overall length is 4 and a 3 quarters all the way to the back of here. Uh, and uh, the diameter of the motor we could say something about two and a half inches in diameter it's pretty decent I tell you already the dimensions of the gear the reason I tell you this very fast is because I don't want to include this in the description you know in the video that, that way you help me to to not to type too much and move on to different products for sale so uh, this is the you know the predictor fuse so one let me this is part of my equipment so anyway and this go, guy is going here and when yours uh, this kind of this the the motor the the driver has a two holes to hold it in place and you can cover you know all the all the solderings in the back with this thing let me actually unplug this thing because before I keep touching because I don't want to suffer okay it's a pretty long cord it's a pretty long power cord pretty pretty heavy pretty good let me show you again the driver closely a little bit. The switch is um, 15 amps, 125 volts AC, up to three quarter horsepower, so or 0.125 by 250 volts AC. But not, I mean, I don't mean this is uh, to, for 250. I mean, this is the the switch is pretty decent for this. The potentiometer, potentiometer, and the belt, and um, and you know the little cover. Where I left the little cover. Um, oh, it's up here. So I told you, this one has a little cuts. So when you're setting this first, send it all the way to the left and put in zero and with little piece of cloth very straight, boom, push inside because this is the way this guy is holding this. It's the old school, you know. I mean anyway, forty-four ninety-nine the whole package and you know definitely for the weight for the amount of things i need to start putting in a medium flat rate box for 12 bucks the medium flat rate box usps is 1085 i just use the one dollar and 15 cents for packaging and handling this is nothing but i it's fine for me because uh, you know i want somebody to take advantage of this um you can make a lot of things with it moving um conveyor you can actually use to move um the lathe uh, perhaps you know uh, uh, you can use for your lathe or for i mean you probably know if you see the video you probably say well this thing would to help me for this project I like to, I always sell this for inter, you know, 
uh, more than a hobby CNC hobby equipment I love that but perhaps too for semi-professional jobs also so I decide not to sell separate the motor and the pulley and the belt that I have in my store I selling separate things for you know 20 bucks and another 25 bucks and the driver I mean I say 44 dollars I don't know if I say 44.99 but I say 44 dollars I think it's a good deal for for this combination of motor pulleys belt uh, driver board uh, everything and I want to send everything hook up as you see but this piece you know you, I told you this piece is the last when you're mounting in your in your cabinet your plate or whatever you decide to do and of course you know the cover this material is an old material I may remember this when a little boy my daddy used too much of this material you know so anyway um, the fuse and the, the this is very easy to set up I mean you see those little things in the side when you made the the, the square hole the square or um, the square cut you have to make sure not cut it all the way to the end just cut it to to the ends of the the switch itself so these things can push and get into it your your board I mean into your your plate or whatever uh, this is pretty nice I mean it's you know the old components let me tell you sometimes are very it's more dur durable than the new ones because the new tiny tiny chips and stuff require uh, it's very easy to damage about you know static and the soil some I I, I mean I I found many pieces to be get uh, on solder because the automation machine they make all those solders but anyway $44 $12 shipping USPS medium flat rate box to the continental US only thank you for watching I will take some pictures and I'm sorry if this too long video I just want to describe everything whatever the, the best possible and write less or type less in the description and the listing thank you for watching and I will take some pictures